I'm Ashley with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 20 R rated anime. Paralyzer didn't work. He's gotta be hopped up on stimulants or something. <laughs> For this list, we'll be looking at the series that contain a substantial amount of content that would scar a younger anime viewer for life. Which is another way of saying that if you're a fan of heavy violence, explicit fan service, and all other manner of heavy subjects, these are the shows for you. As always, you can catch me on Twitter at AshJBo, so head over there, give me a follow, and let me know which anime list you want to see next. Number 20, Baki. If you can withstand the whiplash that is this martial arts fiesta's continuity, since it's technically the third season, then prepare yourself for plenty of do or die fist fights. And now, <laughs> it's payback time. Following the muscular exploits of the fighting prodigy, he, along with his fellow ridiculously ripped allies, find themselves hauled into a set of grudge matches against a collective of escaped convicts whose strength is so intense that they all yearn to no defeat. You may come for the showdowns, but you'll stick around for the absurdity that is Bucky. Number 19, Prison School. After miraculously finding themselves enlisted as the only guys in an all-girls school, it doesn't take long for our cast of characters to completely ruin whatever luck they had. Most impressive, madam. Deal with the scum, won't you? <laughs> when their peeping plan goes south, this crew finds themselves locked up in a school prison that is run by the student council themselves. Don't you ever patronize me, you I want to be! What follows is quite possibly the most ridiculous prison break you'll ever witness, with twists and turns and outlandish shenanigans that'll have you laughing every step of the way. This full-on tongue kiss will go down in history as my own Flight of Shimatsu move! Number 18, Goblin Slayer. If you're looking for a fancy romp with more edge than a Go Gaia roleplay, you needn't look any further than old GS over here. <laughs> Due to a traumatizing event from his past, this ironclad killer has only one thing on mind, slaughtering every little green SOB he can find. While the premise may sound pretty thin, this is a surprisingly hard-hitting tale that doesn't know the meaning of boundaries. You'll soon find yourself getting an endorphin rush every single time Slayer puts one of these little freaks down. Trust us, they more than deserve it. Number 17, Drifters. Ever wondered what it would look like if an all-powerful enigmatic entity picked up and dropped several historical figures into a medieval setting with elves and dragons and have them run wild? Yeah, Chances are it's not nearly as slick and ferocious as this. <laughs> With the Black King and his horde of famous real-life villains running amok and causing chaos, the likes of Toyohisa Shimazu, Oda Nobunaga, Butch Cassidy, the Sundance Kid, along with the numerous other icons, are forced to band together and start slaying their way through every orc, corrupt noble, and potential evil Christ figure that comes their way. <laughs> Number 16, Parasites. Aliens walk among us. They just so happen to be hiding inside people. And that's just so they can continue their insatiable hunger for human meat. <gasps> nice guy Shinichi unfortunately finds himself caught up in this bloody struggle when one of these intergalactic parasites takes up sentience inside his right hand allowing him to retain his humanity while relying on his new shape-shifting partner to help defend himself and loved ones from not-so-friendly body snatchers. Barricade. 
fair warning, they don't skip out on the gore. Number 15, Psychopaths. Activating Dominator Portable Psychological Diagnosis and Suppression System. Now online. A neo-noir detective thriller from the mind of the man that gave us such traumatizing hits as Fate Zero and Madoka Magica. Yep, expect plenty of darkness going into this, along with an unhealthy amount of hating mankind as a whole. In a future where your very emotions are monitored and can land you life imprisonment should they spike to dangerous degrees, rookie detective Akane, along with hard-edged enforcer Kogami, are thrust into a deadly game of cat and mouse with a mastermind looking to disrupt the New World Order, only to discover that the status quo might be the greatest evil of all. It's okay, we're with the Public Safety Bureau. I promise you're safe now. Just calm down. Ma'am, we're here to rescue you, that's all. No! Number 14, Kengan Ashura. Underground tournaments, death matches, absurdly powerful fighters, and one man's yearning for revenge. Welcome to Netflix's most kick-ass action romp to date. With the illustrious position of chairman on the line, numerous martial artists, killers, and borderline monsters are dispatched to represent their respective companies in the Kengan matches. This includes Oma Tokita, whose personal goal continues to push him to beat the crap out of anyone who steps up to him and his Nico style, all in the hope of landing some much-deserved vengeance. As silly as it sounds, they really don't pull their punches here. Number 13, Interspecies Reviewers. You're goddamn right we're recommending this one. How could you not want to feed your eyes on the show that managed to blur the line between erotic comedy and full-on monster girl hentai to such an extent that it ended up pushing the boundary too far for Japanese audiences? <laughs> so, what sets it apart from all the other fan service based shows out there? It's hilarious, as it follows a cluster of wannabe adventurers going around and reviewing the various brothels made up of various mythical ladies. It knows exactly what it is, and does it better than anyone else. Number 12, Doro Hedoro, a guy with a lizard head slicing apart sorcerers all in the hope of trying to reclaim his lost memories and discover why there's a random guy living inside his mouth. Bonkers, bloody, and brutal. Kaiman's exploits in this crazy ass world is nothing short of a delight. It's a wild mystery made all the sweeter thanks to so many colorful characters to bounce off of, especially Kaiman's adorably badass bestie, Nikaido, and the smiling Amazon goddess, Noi. How can such a bloodbath of a show have this many great girls? <laughs> Number 11, Vinland Saga. You can't be a historical fantasy that chronicles the Viking occupation of England without highlighting the bloodshed and brutality involved. Going from innocent youth to an animal driven by an overwhelming desire for revenge, Torfin's journey is as compelling as it is heartbreaking. While the fight scenes between the various factions make for quite the spectacle, it's the narrative and character interactions that propel this series to the title of Masterpiece. <laughs> Do not miss out on experiencing this unfiltered epic, even if it's only to watch Torkel punch horses. <laughs> Number 10, Black Lagoon. Dinner, baby! 
We could go into great detail about how this show doesn't shy away from gang violence, how its setting allows everything from drugs, prostitution, and hardcore bloodshed to run rampant across the screen. Hell, we'd be happy to delve into the intricacies that come with seeing a boat full of neo-Nazis get slaughtered. Now witness the awesome power of this. Shut the f See, I wasn't even listening. However, all we really need to highlight in order to prove this series isn't for the kids is Revy's motor mouth. This woman could curse like no other to the point where it's almost poetic. Why don't I do you a f***ing favor and show you what color your brain is? Wait! And we're connected. Number 9, Helsing Ultimate. I'm just pleased, that's all. The world would be so boring without idiots like you to amuse me. On one side, you have crazed Catholics seeking to exterminate all sinners. On the other, you have vampire remnants of the Third Reich, led by a major who adores nothing more than war and genocide. And in the middle, a gun-wielding Dracula who might just be the most bloodthirsty of them all. It takes a man in order to kill a monster. If you're looking to witness pure stylistic carnage, then you can't go wrong with watching Alucard go on one of his signature rampages. One thing is for sure, it sucks to be a civilian in this series. What will you do, Rip Van Winkle? Number 8, Perfect Blue. <laughs> a running theme of all great R-rated anime appears to be that the worst monsters out there are none other than human beings. After immersing ourselves in this whirlpool of a psychological thriller, we're inclined to agree. While pursuing a career as an actress, former singer Mima soon finds herself on the receiving end of a dangerous stalker, all the while her grip on reality seems to slowly be starting to slip. Primal in its presentation with a visceral truth to it, this classic will have you holding your breath right up to its fever dream of a finale. <laughs> Number 7, Attack on Titan. It's survival of the fittest, and unfortunately, mankind is no longer at the top of the food chain. As giant humanoid beasts known as Titans wander the land, the duty of expanding humanity's reach is handed to the poor souls of the Survey Corps. My friends are being devoured, and all I can do is watch. After his mother is killed and he finds himself inexplicably cursed with the power to transform into a titan himself, a vengeful young man named Eren decides to take the fight to the enemy. Prepare to see a lot of characters get digested. Number 6, Ghost in the Shell. I am a living, thinking entity who was created in the sea of information. What separates man and machine? The answer might be a little trickier than you think, especially when AI enters the picture. As Major Kusanagi hunts down the elusive hacker known as the Puppet Master, the film explores the concepts of life, death, gender, and the ways in which technology holds sway. Don't worry if metaphorical musings aren't really your thing, there's plenty of disturbing imagery to pull you over. I mean, we still can't unsee the sight of the Major tearing up her own body against a waking tank. Number 5, Bacano. Did you <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Carol. I see what you mean by main character-ish. Gangsters, immortality, and a whole lot of bullets. Thanks to the show's dynamic cast of characters and their endless supply of charm, you'll find yourself falling head over heels for them in spite of their large body counts. Don't get us wrong, there's blood and guts galore, but that doesn't make Isaac and Miria's antics any less fun. Just like watching Claire Stanfield talk about how he is nothing short of a blood-soaked, omnipotent being any less captivating. I am the absolute center of this world, its creator. There's so much to love about these guys that by the end of it, you won't even blink twice at all the murders that occur on the flying pussyfoot. What's the matter, sweetheart? You saying you don't want to be killed by me? Number 4, Devilman Crybaby. Are you feeling good about life at the moment? Then just watch this latest adaptation of the 1970s classic, and you'll soon be reminded of how our species are no more virtuous than demons. After being informed by his bestie that the denizens of hell are using human bodies as hosts, 
Local wimpy kid Akira finds himself unwittingly turned into a devil himself, but one with a human heart. Everything in this modern masterpiece is hardcore, from the violence to the sex to the feels. Won't be long before you're crying just as hard as Akira. Number 3 Berserk. It is your destiny to face your death. You cannot escape. It's a cruel world, and the swordsman Guts knows it all too well. Born from a corpse, abused by his foster father, thrown onto the battlefield from the time he could walk, this guy has seen more carnage than any can imagine, and that's all before he finds himself drafted into the mercenary company known as the Band of the Hawk. I find you much to my liking. I want you to join me, Guts. From there, he finds himself embroiled into a 100-year war, facing down creatures not of this world, and suffering the greatest betrayal in anime history. <laughs> Number 2 Akira As far as dystopian futures go, this is one you certainly won't want to be caught up in. Well, maybe for those slick motorcycles, but that's about it. As gang warfare erupts in the city of Neo Tokyo, friends Kaneda and Tetsuo find themselves thrown into a whole new kind of hell when the latter finds himself imbued with immense psychic abilities. From that point, it's on. As Tetsuo's powers rage out of control, you can expect to see plenty of wanton destruction, along with what could possibly be the most disgusting transformation sequence of all time. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos, or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1 Cowboy Bebop What's wrong if you don't comply? There may not be as much blood, sex, or violence than the other entries on this list, but in terms of sheer style, nothing tops the Space Cowboy. As the likes of Spike Spiegel and his mismatched crew traverse the galaxy hunting down bounties, each find themselves thrown into a variety of hotspots with dangerous criminals, deadly assassins, and the infamous Red Dragon Syndicate. Then why are you still alive? <laughs> There really is no other word for this show than cool. Julia was here, right in this town. <clears throat> Step aside, Lynn. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.